Hey guys, it's been a very long time since I've posted or filmed a YouTube video. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to talk about my semester and how everything went, the ups and downs of it all the stress and everything and just the way like my mindset was throughout my roommate is making a lot of noise but I mean it's fine because it's like 3 p.m. but it's low-key distracting me from making this video but nonetheless first thing I like to talk about is stress um, I guess just stress from the transition of coming into a new university and the environment and everything and getting used to it. That was kind of stressful for me at the beginning, but then it calmed down. It calmed down around October because I kind of got used to everything. I knew where all my classes were. I understood my professors. I didn't really know the testing system. Like I like each teacher. Um, wrote their tests in a different way and I still I didn't <laughs> I didn't know the way they um, wrote questions on their tests until November November is when I understood the method of how all my professors asked their questions on their tests so when I understood the method I was able to better on my tests also during this semester, I had a study buddy. Well, multiple study buddies, but mainly one. But then she had other nice friends who would study with us too. So, study buddies, but mainly one study buddy. Um, she's very smart. She's just like me, I guess. Like, she said the way she used to study, she used to study by herself. But then, when, we, when both of us used to study together, she would study by herself, but still like talk with me, and we like ask each other questions and go through the book and go through anything we needed to go through, and it was good. And that's the way I learn. I like to learn by studying with people, whether it's reviewing with them, or whether it's just um, them just being in the vicinity and me just studying like at a library like I study well at the library I study well by myself too but that's only if I'm like reviewing one thing I realized is that there are a lot of smart people at this school a lot of smart and friendly people <laughs> at this school I found a lot of like I said smart and friendly people and um, at times that I've met them at times that I needed their help they were able to help me and like give me more knowledge and what I'm supposed to learn and they're able to like teach me stuff which is good because I learn from others. Another very interesting topic is friends. Um, I have a very small amount of friends I could say. I can probably only count them with my fingers. Um, it's just that I'm he it's just that I hear most people I know they are either not like they're lazy but they they just don't want to they're like the type of people who would just like sit inside all day and like do work which is fine like i'm fine with that very very studious people or i'm like acquaintances with some people but they won't invite me places and that isn't bad at all either <laughs> but then there's also those people and then i have like a couple close friends here which is great like they're 10 out of 10 like stellar people and they're very smart and hard working people. I don't understand why some of them are like, oh no, I'm gonna fail on this test, I'm gonna do so bad. And I'm like, you've been studying for five hours straight. Not five hours, you've been studying all day and all night for the past three days. You're going to do so well on this test, I don't know why you're gonna say you fail. And then they come out with great grades and I'm like, so what was the point in stressing yourself? I do that too, actually, but regardless that I have very very smart friends the thing is with one of my friends though is that she really really likes when people spend time with her I'll be in my room chilling not really doing anything and then she'll be like hey do you want to go do this and I'll be like oh, I don't want to I'm tired and she'll be like no no come on let's go and then so that's really 
how our friendship grew because we always like do stuff together, we study together and everything, so it's just also that's fun. Very fun. Um but here we can't really go anywhere or do anything because we're so swamped with work <laughs> that um it's really hard to go out and have fun unless it's like a weekend where you finish all your tests and it's that weekend that's free only in that weekend that you can go and do stuff but really there's not much time to have fun it's either school or work or sleep because with all the all-nighters you pull with all the assignments and things that you're doing overnight, it's, it's important to get sleep. Last but not least is final season. I just finished with finals. Um, finals for me this week was Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I had calculus on Monday, chem on Tuesday, and bio on Wednesday, and that was a lot. That was a lot. It's weird how calculus was first, though, because, like, it was just gone and out of the way immediately on Monday, which I kind of prefer if it was, like, chemistry or, and then calculus and then bio, you know, so you kind of have, like, a break in between, but it was the way the professors arranged it. Studying every single day until, like, 2 a.m. or, like, 4 a.m. in the morning, like, it didn't break me, but it was just very, it was such a burden. Yeah, I could say that. It was such a burden. <laughs> Studying every single day for the last week. For the last week, we also had classes, but then we were trying to study for finals, which were immediately right after. So we didn't have a break. We kind of just jumped right in into finals and I, d I didn't like that particularly but that's how it's just gonna be for the next couple of years I'm here university but it was stressful like I think the most stressful exam for me was chemistry because of everything I had to learn and everything I had to calculate and memorize but biology for me like the way the professor did it was she used a lot of the practice tests so you really just had to look at the practice tests and remember what the answers were and then there were other things from like the chapter but basically if you knew the practice test you were good for at least I think 80% of the exam but yeah calculus wasn't too bad we were allowed to have like a cheat sheet or like a reference sheet where we could write down all our formulas or anything so it honestly it honestly wasn't that bad so hopefully i get good grades i will inform you guys my grades but moving on though for second semester i'm literally going to be studying every single day so that at the time when like there's a test like the next day or like the teacher announces a test and it's like next week like i won't be scrambling to study like i would just have to like calmly just review all my stuff and then go into the tests so that's what i'll be doing i'll be spending every single day reviewing what i learned that day um studying with my study buddies um not stressing <laughs> because literally second semester is literally just like a rerun of first semester except maybe you have different professors and like some different classes but it's basically the same so there's really nothing for me to worry about like i'll be fine Oh <laughs>